Hey, this is Shawasi Hobby Farmer uh, back here again. And uh, as you can see here, I'm finally making some progress on the garden and some of the things I'm trying to grow here. Um, you can see here I got a stake in the ground with a line ran up to this tree. Um, got the hops coming. Uh, the hops, I mean, this is the first time I've ever really done anything with them. But they're real raspy on the vine there. And you just kind of wrap them around like that and they just kind of take over. Um, I just set this up on the stake today, um, so we'll see you know how quickly it progresses. But it grows quick, and hopefully it'll climb right up on that tree and start making its way up on the tree a bit. I really don't care about these trees; they're just a tall, slender tree. Got a couple of them here. They really aren't good for anything. Um, and then if we walk over here to the garden. I made some progress. Uh, <clears throat> didn't get a rototiller over, uh, I just spread it out, kind of like I said in the last video. Um, and actually it's pretty good. All the uh, compost from the manure back there, I, I mixed it in with the tractor and plowed it. And it really, I don't know, gave the soil, you know, it holds on the moisture a lot better and it uh, really worked up pretty easy with a hoe. Um, but as you can see here, I got a couple green pepper plants, got one tomato plant because you always get so many tomatoes and my wife doesn't really like them and <laughs> so it's always going to have a few but uh, then I got a Brussels sprout here got four cabbages in a row there got a couple beans green beans here they're of a viney variety and uh, this one needs to climb um, I'm not sure of the names my Mother-in-law grew these in her little greenhouse, and she gave us some other stuff too. But uh, yeah, so I just threw them in the ground because she needed to get rid of them. Um, then I got some cantaloupes. They're a little close, um, but I don't know. They they kind of grow together as it is. Um, this I still don't know what this is yet. There's a bunch of plants mixed in there, but it's really growing, and I don't want to rip it up or anything. I'm just going to kind of let it go and see what I get. I'm thinking it's pumpkins, but it could be something else. Like I said, I just threw, <laughs> threw it to kind of mulch it out. Um, but yeah, so they came up, that's for sure. Uh, then got another, yeah, got another uh, cantaloupe. No, my bad. These are cucumbers. Uh, they're like a yellow lemon cucumber type. Then these are cantaloupes. There's three, one, then I got a couple watermelons. Uh, then I threw in a couple rows of corn here just to try. Um, I don't know if it'll do much, but I had this space in the garden. and I know I'm getting a late start, but, um, you know, it's worth just trying to throw some stuff in there and see what happens. Uh, not ideal, but we'll see. <laughs> um, but yeah, I had three rows here. And then over here, I threw in a couple pumpkin seeds uh, just to see what, again, what happens. And then at the back here, I, it kind of ran out of steam and my hoe broke actually too. Um, but so I kind of stopped. It got a little harder. This is newer ground that I plowed for the first time at the back here. This time up here, I've done that about three, four times on the new soil. Um, but I threw in just a watermelon plant back here to kind of let it fill in. We'll see. Not as much sunlight back here, so I'm not having high hopes. Most of the sunlight hits there. Uh, it's kind of hard with how the trees are, but you got this power line here um, that kind of lets a fair amount of sunlight in. But on the poison ivy front, um, if this is your first time watching a video, the uh, this whole area here was just full of poison ivy, like I'm saying a carpet. Um, so I've had to spray, like I, I usually will try to be as organic as possible. Um, just really <laughs> don't like using a ton of spray. But as you can see up there, there's some poison ivy in there. But I've worked, I mean this is a carpet, so I plowed it and I wanted to do that because there's lots of vein or vines, roots and everything here. So you can see there's some little stuff there. It's been about, uh, it's been a year, so we'll see what happens. But it's worked pretty well. Um, I might have to spray a little bit over here to kill some of that. But um, 
it's coming along. Uh, it's, it's a nice garden patch. I don't know what I'm going to do with, I got some more ground back here. I could probably try to do something, but again, there's more shade back in here, so I might try doing something, but I'll have to do some research. If anybody has any ideas for something that grows well in the shade, let me know. But yeah, so that's a quick update of my garden. Um, and I'll stay tuned and uh, I'll be sure to post some more updates as it grows and see what happens. So, alright, thanks for watching.